Shantashu Asi Kya Shantashu Chitwik Akan Kya Kushta Shingashko Relics of a proud past when lofty totem poles proclaimed the glory of the tribe. The men who carved them were great men, much honored for their art. But today there are few carvers. This boy may be one of the last. They work only in argillite now, not wood. From this soft, dark slate, they make small, fine carvings with designs based on the big totems of old. The argillite can be found in only one place, Slate Chuck Mountain. For this carver, it means a trip of a hundred miles from home in the Queen Charlotte Islands of Canada's Pacific coast. He takes only a small amount of slate. No point in taking more, for it hardens quickly when exposed to the air. Almost a century ago, his great-grandfather made the same trip for the same slate. But those were the great days of the Haida carvers. Now, the mountain has few visitors. rich in fish, and so, from the time of their first settlement, the Haida have built their villages close to the water. They preferred to travel by the sea rather than by inland trails, and their lives were regulated by the ebb and flow of the tides. They carved not only totem poles, but also great war canoes that were the envy of all the other coastal tribes. Carver's home is at Masset, a small community at the north of the islands. Here, fishing is the main industry, and the Haida are among the best fishermen anywhere on the coast. This occupation, as well as lumbering, appeals to the young Indians much more than carving. Carving seems far too tedious. There's more money in fishing. And besides, carving reminds the young Haida of an outmoded attitude toward the Indian, in which the white man regarded him simply as a colorful native, a maker of curios. The new generation wants, above all, a modern way of life. For the young carver, there is encouragement and advice from his grandfather, who is an expert in working with argillite. The old man is very much attached to the traditions of the Haida and their old way of life. So it is important to him that the boy learn to be a good carver. Carvings are at their best when highly polished, and this is the job of the old carver's wife. 
It's painstaking work, but it's profitable, for the pieces bring good prices from collectors in the city. An art that may be dying out after only 150 years of existence. For it was in the last century that the Haida first started carving in argillite, after watching white sailors carving in whalebone and walrus tusks. The technique was borrowed, but the themes were those of the Haida themselves, based on tribal legends about bears, ravens, eagles, frogs, and fish. continue as a carver? Will he too be tempted by other work or by the city? If he leaves the islands, the Haida will lose one of their most promising carvers, for some of his works are striking examples of the art. still at work. As he carves, he draws on ancient legends. Similar themes are to be found in the great carvings of the past, like these.
carvings in slate by the Haida, so finely executed that they have merited a place of honor in many of the world's museums. The art is dying out now, but the carvings that exist will preserve for the future a rich heritage of folklore and legend. Oh. 